I wish to extend a warm welcome to all the distinguished delegates. While there have been some encouraging signs of a turnaround in many of the affected economies, including Thailand, the repercussions upon our people have yet to be fully felt. By this, I'm referring to the human or social dimension of the crisis, which includes such problems as rising unemployment and increasing pressures upon our social services. The crisis has also hampered ongoing efforts to alleviate poverty as well as to provide better social protection for all sectors of our society, particularly those most disadvantaged. One of my government's main priorities has been the prevention and alleviation of the unemployment problem. Towards the end, I believe a comprehensive labor policy and employment schemes focusing upon labor market information, skills training, job creation and placement, wages and social security systems, and industrial relations are necessary if we are to address effectively the unemployment situation, as well as to achieve economic growth and social justice in the long term. And workers and their families, we are confident that the path to prosperity and social justice, protecting the security to the foundation of general economy and social policy. The contamination of market processes by politics were also a root cause. The strengthening of democratic institutions is thus central to the post-crisis economic model that is required. Free and fair electoral processes, freedom of expression and public debate, the rule of law, and accountability of elected officials are among the attributes of democracy that are essential for preventing the harmful distortion of market processes by government. As the recent crisis has shown, the latter has not only high economic costs, but also social ones.